<laughs> Be careful, that's a rental. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 funniest Jennifer Lawrence moments. Not careful with what she says. Kind of a mess. But overall, pretty nice lady. For this list, we'll be looking at the most lovably awkward, candid, endearing, and or hilarious times this actress left us unable to contain our laughter. When has Jennifer Lawrence made you snort milk out of your nose? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Reminiscing with Colbert After taking a break from Hollywood, Lawrence stepped back into the spotlight to promote her 2021 film Don't Look Up. This interview with Stephen Colbert proved she was still unfiltered and hilariously honest. I mean, I make a mess, but I'm really good at cleaning it up, and I can, like, I can attack a mess. Since her last visit to the show involved taking shots of rum with the host, they begin the interview by discussing the repercussions. Lauren shares her inner monologue from the post-Toast premiere, and it's completely relatable. Well, I, my, I, I tried to overdo it and was like, don't look drunk, this is me sober, I'm not slurring, my eyebrows aren't slurring. It was psychotic. Your eyebrows were slurring? Yeah. That's how drunk you are. <laughs> yeah. She can also still be counted on for a snappy comeback. When Colbert asks her what she did during her time off, she first gestures to her pregnant stomach and gives the obvious answer. I just have a ton of sex. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Number 19, Modeling Days. Many actors begin their careers gracing the covers of magazines. Jennifer Lawrence revealed on The Graham Norton Show that she once took part in an Abercrombie and Fitch ad campaign. Get yeah. in! Abercrombie and Fitch, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Don't, don't make your hoots. Please tell me the story. <laughs> Sadly, her beach-themed photos never made it to print. She was supposed to play football in a pretty way with the other models, but seemingly couldn't keep her competitive streak under control. I was all of the photos. I've got a red face covered in sweat. My nostrils are flared. I'm like, no! <laughs> when her agent asked the company why her photos never came out, they just sent the pictures as their answer. Apparently, Lawrence didn't give the look they had in mind. Hey, at least it makes for a funny story though her intensity may have spooked one of her fellow models. And like, at one point, a girl yelled, just get her away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Number 18, Hollywood Boulevard interviews. Some celebrities might be offended if people don't know them and or their work, but of course, Jennifer Lawrence finds it amusing. Do you know who Jennifer Lawrence is? This is the worst day of my Jennifer life. Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> nope. While guest hosting for Jimmy Kimmel, the bemused actress braves Hollywood Boulevard to see if people can remember five of her films. She laughs through their confusion and agrees that Aniston is probably the better Jennifer. Prettier, funnier. Yes. Yeah, yes. better movies. Yes, yes, I yeah. Remember. Yeah, overall. Yeah, great. Um, uh -huh. I'm Jennifer Lawrence. Oh. <laughs> Eventually, she resorts to hints and charades to help everyone figure out the titles. Luckily, Lawrence has better luck after joining up with a tour car. With good-humored energy, she lets them know she'll happily give them the one-finger salute if she sees them driving through her neighborhood. Now, like Guillermo, we'll have no trouble naming J-Law movies. But we can't deny this segment is epic. I'm so honored that you're my biggest fan. Well, I, I love your movies and, and, I, and, I, and I love you too. Number 17, Actually Me. Soon after Jennifer Lawrence begins her Actually Me episode for GQ, she bluntly explains the reason for the frequent sightings of her middle finger. Because I'm an <laughs> Right away, we know this will be another comically candid display. Lawrence notably continues by poking fun at her own lack of filter in the media. As a role model to young people, she tries to be careful with her words. Well, I think that we all know that that's not true, so we can just delete that. Never really made it there. When a YouTube comment describes her as the friend who makes themselves a little too comfortable in your home, she agrees. Similarly, when a Twitter user questions her humanity, she affirms that she's, quote, all too real. Is this an accurate portrayal of the true Jennifer Lawrence? We certainly hope so, because we love it. That was me the entire time. The accounts were me. Number 16, Buckling Under Pressure. On a press tour, Jennifer Lawrence wastes no time sharing humiliating stories with Graham Norton. She doesn't hold back, demonstrating how ridiculous she once acted in front of Harrison Ford and J.J. Abrams. And I approached their table and was like... <laughs> <laughs> And they all, the whole table was just like, 
<laughs> and so I realized while I was dancing, I was like, they have no idea who I am. Never one to pull punches when it comes to sharing her own mistakes, Lawrence then moves on to a story about how she tried to illegally enter England. Her passport was about to expire and she didn't have a work visa, but she attempted to hide the fact so she could audition for X-Men anyway. I'm like, oh my good god, I have to lie <laughs> to a customs officer. And so I'm working myself up so much through the line, I'm like, okay, I just have to have a backstory. I got a backstory and I have to believe it. <laughs> Despite being an Oscar-winning actress, it turns out that Lawrence is not a very good liar. It only took a few questions from an official to get her to spill everything. Are you telling the truth? No, no. I don't have a work visa and my passport expires and I'm not even supposed to be here. And I had to sit in a tiny little jail for like five hours while they called my employer. I felt tiny. <laughs> Number 15. Losing It on Hot Ones a lineup of increasingly spicy sauces cracks open Lawrence's calm demeanor in this interview. <laughs> Have you ever had anybody act like this? <laughs> yeah. At first, she serenely answers the questions and makes conversation as she chows down on the wings. However, once the heat really ramps up, she turns into the chaotic interviewee that we love dearly. Hard to swallow. And then, <laughs> this is where I'll just say, be careful around the eyes. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I know, I know. Even after her intense reaction to the bomb sauce, j Law surprises the host by taking a gigantic bite out of the next wing. Then she dramatically declares that she feels like she's going to die. The best bit might be after the interview is officially over, when the teary-eyed actress victoriously mocks her team member for bailing out earlier than she did. Excuse us while we watch this whole thing over. It's too good. <laughs> you saw that on I get, TikTok. Yeah. I, yeah, I saw it on TikTok. I get the instinct because it just seems like there's more eyes. <gasps> the other two are hotter. Number 14. W Interview with Emma Stone It's definitely not surprising that Emma Stone and Jennifer Lawrence are friends. The interview they share with W Magazine puts the wonderfully zany duo's comfortable relationship on full display. Oh, you want me to hold up my little elephant? <laughs> It's me! Their text-based origin story is as random and original as their interview styles. Throughout, they comfortably play off each other and are adorably awkward. Each wild story is better than the last, and we find ourselves giggling right alongside them at every turn. I went up and like knocked on her dressing room door, and I was about to be like, dude, that was so awesome! And she opens the door and she was like, it was awful! <laughs> it was terrible! I was blind the whole time! It's easy to imagine what it would be like to hang out with this hysterical duo over a couple glasses of champagne. We just know it would involve oodles of laughter and good times. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Are we really supposed to <laughs> No, it was just really gassy. That's Just what like they say you. about me. <laughs> Number 13. Most Embarrassing Moments with Fallon Talk show hosts like Jimmy Fallon seem to love highlighting Lawrence's embarrassing incidents. Instead of trying to deny her mortifying moments, j Law shares her top two here. The first involved fangirling over who she thought was Elizabeth Taylor. She's complimenting me! She's complimenting me! And I was like... It was like, me? No, I mean you. Your movies that I can't name and your fashion moments that I don't know. When she learned that the woman she was fawning over was most definitely not the deceased actress, she fled. Not afraid to take it further, Lawrence continues with the story of trying to be cool in front of Francis Ford Coppola. I was like, I'm such a huge fan. Oh, God, Godfather of the Law. And like, went on and then introduced myself to the whole table. Hi, I'm Jennifer Lawrence. They had no idea who I was. And, uh, uh, went back to the table, my entire dress was unzipped, and my thong was out. <laughs> Could there be anything worse than walking away from a famous filmmaker and realizing your dress is unzipped? It's hard to imagine anyone successfully embarrassing this star in an interview. She's so willing to share her most agonizing experiences, taking us on endless humorous rides. Because it's so genuinely embarrassing, but now I feel like the statute of limitations on humiliation is up. Yeah. And I'm ready. Number 12. Gail. Considering the amount of attention Jennifer Lawrence gets during filming and press tours, it's understandable if she sometimes needs to be somebody else. Funnily enough, she revealed in an interview with Ellen that she has a vacation alter ego named Gail. It's a, it's a different face. Yeah. That's not your normal smile. No, I hope not. No. I mean, it might be. I don't know. No. But the hair, too, just so presidential. Yeah. An adrenaline lover, Gail has been known to eat worms and jump into shark-infested waters. 
Lawrence assures Ellen that this vacation version of herself only seems to make an appearance when rum is on the menu, though. I'm trying to think what I drank at your birthday. Vodka. Okay. I think, you, I think you did. Yeah, and that did something but, else, but not Gail. If that's the case, she might want to be careful about drinking on talk shows. We know how much of a hoot Lawrence is, so we can only imagine what a treat an evening with Gail might be. I'm normally like pretty cautious. Uh huh. I've never you really sit broken like that. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> wow. In my real life, and then I, I get rum in me, and I'm just like, let's arm wrestle. Uh huh. Number eleven, hanging out with Colbert. One reason we love Jennifer Lawrence is her lack of filter. On a press tour for Red Sparrow, she has some rum and a candid chat with Stephen Colbert. I really yeah. love my job and I'm very happy. Yeah. <laughs> I love acting. Yeah. Press tours you, give you like this are, crescendo moment. No, pour it again. Yeah, sure. She confesses that talking to high school slash college students about political corruption is intimidating, so she jokingly plans to educate toddlers instead. It isn't long before she's removed her heels and is giving a description of Harvey Weinstein that's as colorful as you'd expect. He is just yeah. that horrible okay. ass boil that does not go away. Soon after, we hear a little more about the hysterical icon that is Gail. But if you think that's where the fun ends, think again. She then gives us amusing insight into how flirting with Larry David at Amy Schumer's wedding went. It's impossible to contain your laughter watching this delightful segment. Which is just like fuel for me. I mean, that was, you know, that just gets me going. You like a challenge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love rum. Number 10, getting revenge on Chris Pratt. Oh, wow. Wow, this is really bad. Maybe I should help with this. It came as no surprise to anyone that Lawrence and Passenger's co-star Chris Pratt get along since they're both known for their senses of humor. In fact, they became close enough that Pratt decided to make fun of Lawrence on Instagram by cropping her out of all of his pictures. It's always a bad sign when Chris seems sincere about something. <laughs> on his talk show, Jimmy Kimmel asked her if she was going to do anything about it. So they got out spray paint cans and did a little bit of graffiti on a bus that featured an ad for their movie. Their fake rivalry is endlessly adorable. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Number 9, Vogue short film. Hi, my name's Susan Sarandon. Hi, my name is Michelle Obama. J-Law has proven time and time again that she is not your typical celebrity. She's not exactly known for taking herself seriously and seems to love mocking her own fame. That's exactly what she does in a short film she shot with Vogue while on set of a photo shoot for the magazine. Anyway, um, what kind of hard-hitting journalistic questions are you going to ask me? Part of it involves her dramatically acting and cracking jokes, and the other half has her staging photo shoot B-roll bonding with her co-star. Hi! Who's this handsome man? This short film crams a whole lot of personality into less than two minutes, which is a pretty impressive feat. This is probably what it's like to be on a date with me. Number 8, her crush on Seth Meyers. All week, I was like, I was like, He's gonna ask me out. He's totally gonna ask me out. No. And then, like, later in the week, I was like, oh, I'm gonna ask him out. During an interview on Late Night with Seth Meyers that aired in 2015, Lawrence confesses to having a crush on Meyers while on the set of Saturday Night Live years before. She even admits to being this close to asking him out, only to find out at the last minute that he was actually engaged. <laughs> I was like, cool, good talk. <laughs> <laughs> But it was so long ago that now I feel like I can tell you. Yeah, and it's and it's safe because it uh, worked out. I married that lady. Because you're married yeah, so that now, worked out. Yeah. safe. Her self-deprecating humor is as enjoyable as always, especially when she comments on the fact that he wasn't wearing an engagement ring and then hilariously proceeds to poke fun at herself. I should oh have my to God, wear one. I'm like a predator. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, meeting Jeff Bridges. <laughs> when Lawrence meets someone in the industry who she idolizes, she often seems to forget she's famous too and turns into a total fangirl. One such incident occurred at Comic-Con one year when she got to meet Jeff Bridges. She sees him being interviewed and starts towards him, but then backs out at the last moment and runs away in the other direction before trying again. The interviewers let her take over briefly to ask him questions, and you can see her trying to remain calm while you know she's internally freaking out. Oh, who's, your, who's your favorite anyway. character? Who's your favorite character? I'll tell you, I'll say it. I, I can give a, 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 a Does it rhyme with I saw the schmooze? Number six, 
pranking Smosh. My, my friend was supposed to do this, but, you know, I volunteered as tribute. Ian and Anthony of the popular YouTube channel Smosh have a habit of pranking celebrities during interviews, but this time, they were the ones being pranked. A fan of their series collaborated with Jennifer Lawrence and the other stars of The Hunger Games to beat them at their own game. Yeah. Shoot Ian again, right in the face. Do you want to go for two, or do you think that was... Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Oh. While Anthony feeds Ian things to say and do through an earpiece, Josh Hutcherson and Liam Hemsworth are doing the same thing with Lawrence, so that Ian thinks the interview is going very, very badly. I just feel like this is like a waste of everybody's time. I'm sorry. I feel like you're not really a professional. After stalking out of the interview, Anthony joins Ian in the room where they eventually find out they've been pranked and are so relieved. And this is the mastermind behind the whole thing. Uh. <laughs> Number five, playing Box of Lies. Inside my box um, is a very curious thing. <laughs> Which is not the first time I've said that. Wait, 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 wait. No matter who you pair J Law with, her rapport with them is most likely going to be hilarious. Jimmy Fallon's a funny guy, so their game of Box of Lies is, of course, nothing short of a blast. The game consists of each describing an item the other can't see and having them guess whether they're telling the truth. I'm gonna make a sound, a drum sound, so you don't know what it is. It, it, and you can't see it. Uh, 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 so it's something that makes noise? Maybe it is something that makes noise and maybe it isn't. <laughs> Fallon's the host and yet Lawrence definitely steals the show. She has him laughing pretty much the entire time. She doesn't win the game, but she gets an A for effort. You lie! Oh my god! You're right! <laughs> Number four, insulting each other with Chris Pratt. I really loved you in Everwood, said no one ever. <laughs> we can't get enough of this pair's friendship, so we had to include another moment featuring the Jurassic World star. This time, their fake rivalry is put to the test when they participate in a segment of BBC Radio's Playground Insults, where the goal is to throw jibes back and forth and make the other laugh. You are so dumb that I consciously make an effort not to use compound words or words more than three syllables. Before even beginning, they both look on the verge of laughter, and Lawrence can't even get through her own insult to Pratt without cracking a smile. We dare you to try watching this without cracking up. You are so old that your publicist is a registered nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, meeting Jack Nicholson. It was just really just shocking. I think I was just, that's the first time I think I've ever felt like actual shock. Fresh off her first Oscar win, Lawrence is being interviewed backstage when up walks Jack Nicholson, who interrupts just to give her a heartfelt congratulations. Her reaction when she realizes who it is reminds us that at this moment in time, she was still new to the industry and can get starstruck as easily as anyone. Yeah, you're being really rude. <laughs> <laughs> she plays it cool though and even flirts with him a little, but as soon as his back is turned, she totally freaks out. There's no denying Lawrence is a top tier actress, but it's fun and entertaining to see the ways in which she reminds us of ourselves. Is he still here? I'll be waiting. Oh my God! <laughs> Number two, meeting Damian Lewis. You've never met him before? That is Brody. I've never met Brody before. Oh my God, I can't look. Okay, you want to meet him now? We imagine it must be surreal meeting the stars of your favorite shows. And when you're famous, those opportunities present themselves far more often. Lawrence had a massive fangirl moment when she spotted Damian Lewis from Homeland being interviewed right next to her. But it's possible she regretted meeting him after the experience. Are you upset that he I'm died? <laughs> you know they killed him off. They killed him off. What? They yes. killed him off. They killed him off on the show. The two women conducting the red carpet interviews let slip that his character dies on the show, even after Lawrence had said she wasn't up to date. Her reaction to having her favorite show spoiled makes her so hilariously relatable. I can't believe you did that. I, I don't even know what to say. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, post Oscars press conference. Start with 190 and go to 123. This isn't like an auction, right? After her famous trip up the stairs on her way to accept her Oscar, you would think Lawrence would have been embarrassed. 
But that isn't exactly a word that ever applies to this star. Was, was that on purpose? Well, Absolutely. Was it a fault? What happened? <laughs> she walked into her post-Oscars press conference cracking jokes before the questions even started, and even admitted to having a bit to drink. That's what I did, and then I got my hair and makeup done. And then I came to the Oscars. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did a shot before I... <laughs> Since this was her first big win, the situation was foreign to her and you could tell she probably wasn't entirely sure what to do. But the way she handled herself and answered the questions perfectly sums up why we love her so much. You don't worry about being pe peeking too soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I am. Yeah. God. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.